Okay, go ahead. Okay, this is uh, Barry Jones in SP History, and this is a walking tour of New Orleans that uh, we're going to be taking today, and it's a, uh, a collection of all the different spots in the summer of 63 that contribute to the JFK assassination in November of that year. I think most of the plot that took place in November, or, or, that culminated in Dallas, actually germinated here in New Orleans, and I think this is the key to understanding the JFK assassination. I'm standing here in front of the Tree of Life. This has nothing to do with the JFK assassination necessarily, but I uh, thought it was a perfect location to start. These Texas live oaks are just enormous and they're beautiful beyond description, the way that they're, uh, you just look at the root system and then how thick the tree grows. This is the, I think this is the oldest tree it's in five, America. Over 500 it's years over old. over 500 years old. And you can see the branches get so heavy, they come all the way to the ground. And when they hit the ground, they actually start regrowing back up again. Mm -hmm. And you see that in several different locations here where uh, it's like a new tree starts or whatever. But uh, you see these all over New Orleans, these Texas live oaks. Of course, they're not all this big, but uh, that's why this one has a special distinction. Anyway, in these videos, that, uh, they'll all be short videos, but I'm going to go through 28 different locations. And uh, what we're going to try to show you are the four jobs that Lee Harvey Oswald was simultaneously involved in here in New Orleans. He was a very busy character. He had a front or a cover job, and then he had three real jobs he was involved in. He was busy handling somebody, and he was also being handled. When you're in the CIA or you're in intelligence, you always have a handler. There's always a chain of command. There were real jobs, there were fake jobs, and there were all kinds of uh, interesting uh, things that came out in the subsequent investigation by Jim Garrison here in New Orleans, especially when you get into the French Quarter and you start going to the restaurants and there's this subculture down there. We take you through uh, spots that are pivotal in that investigation, pivotal to certain characters like Clay Shaw, like Guy Bannister, like David Ferry, like uh, uh, obviously Lee Hardy Oswald, uh, obviously um, Dr. Alton Oshner, Dr. Mary Sherman. I mean, the list just goes on and on and on. So I uh, wanted to do this little introductory video to let you know what these 28 videos are about. It's the story of New Orleans and how it is connected. And I think in, in many ways, how it contributed to and caused the assassination of JFK a few months later in Dallas.